air signs is Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for June the 12th, 2020. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. What guidance do we have for Taurus? All right, Taurus, we have Angel of Emergence. It says it's time for the real you to emerge. Okay. Let's see what messages we have. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages? All right, Virgo. We have Angel of Finances. It says, honor and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. And we have Goddess of the Unknown. It says, a new chapter of your life is around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. Okay. Let's see what messages we have for Capricorn, Sun, Rise, and Venus. We've got two. So the first one we have is Angel of Relaxation. It says, let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want. And we also have Angel of Soul Love. It says, time to look at how you value yourself. It can be dealing with issues of self-love. The underlying message we have is Goddess of the Shadows. It says, what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. Okay. Let me stop. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June 12, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June the 12th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. June the 12th, 2020. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Woo, Ten of Wands. Get that monkey off your back, baby. Wait a minute. See the bigger picture here. Some of you guys, you could be in a space of feeling burdened, feeling oppressed, and you, that could force you to see the bigger picture. Okay. So we have High Priestess here, that internal insight. I said, for some of you guys, I said, so wait a minute. There could have been, because I got the Seven of Swords with the High Priestess. Somebody could be lying to you. You can know that someone's lying to you. You can know that someone's trying to put more on you than what is necessary. King of Cups could be a masculine energy. Uh, could be a water sign. King of Cups here, that's that's a Cancerian energy, but it could be any masculine energy water sign. Three of Cups here. Now, I feel like some of you guys, you couldn't know that someone is cheating. Um, Seven of Swords, King of Cups, Three of Cups, that's cheating. Ten of Wands, feeling burdened or feeling oppressed by that, or someone could know that there is some deceptive behavior going on. Ace of Pentacles here, there could be a new opportunity. Six of Swords, some of you guys could be moving toward that new opportunity, kind of taking action. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about really putting some things in motion, six pentacles here, so that you can make adjustments towards your foundation. This has to do with your money. Somebody's lying about some money here. Two of cups here. Page of pentacles here. Someone's making adjustments to a, a, a connection or to some sort of relationship because um, there is some deception around some money here. That's, that's what it looked like. If it's not deception around money, someone's being deceptive or being unstable within their emotions, okay? So let's see here. We have the high priestess here. Why is this high priestess here? So some of you guys can know somebody is lying and you could be in the space of extending yourself to another person. Sun here, death here, clearly going through a transformation ending. Some of you guys, there's some clarity that is causing a transformation. Um, Six of Cups is something of the past. Some of you guys are no longer romanticizing what was. You're looking at the reality of here and now. Empress here. So Taurus, Libra energy could also be in a space of allowing something to blossom. Nurturing your truths, your clarity. We have the Seven of Swords here. Why is the seven of swords here? We got the three of pentacles here. Someone's someone's lying. Five of cups here. Four of wands here. This has to do with maybe some bills, a household situation. King of swords, four of cups. Somebody knows that they're unhappy. So someone I feel like is making some plans, really wanting to make a change. Someone's emotions have changed but around some sort of partnership. I feel like someone does not want to continue to cooperate because somebody's lying. Someone's being deceptive within the partnership. So we have, I feel like, and if you're the one line, somebody know you line. So we got King of Cups here. Why is this King of Cups here? 
We have Hermit here in reverse. Could be doing, could be Virgo energy here. Two of Cups here. Um, Five of Swords. Someone doesn't. This is like Queen of Cups underneath here. Two of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the water sign. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with the Leo. Could be dealing with the Aquarius. I got a lot of signs here. But I'm going to tell you what. I do see that it's solid here. Um, and this is a very fucking clear message. Someone is in the space of really extending their energy toward another path within their life because someone has no question someone this is not even a thought anymore someone has possibly been through this cycle so much that they know that it's an unwise decision to really invest or extend their energy toward this connection so someone is really laying down the burdens of a situation seeing the value of them moving away from it we got three of cups here why is this three of cups here we have the page of cup, I mean page of wands with the page of swords and the eight of wands. Yeah, some of you guys are moving forward. You you made a decision because some of you guys, we have three pages here. Some of you guys were dealing with either someone that was childish and very low vibration, or your feelings, you have some more feelings that are coming up around a situation and it's causing you to really want to take action to move away from it. Because you could be starting to see some things that maybe you were not paying attention to previously. All right. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Current energy, I do feel like there's an opportunity here. You're really moving. I feel like some of you guys are moving toward a new partnership, new job, new relationship, something. There's some new things that are, yeah, Wheel of Fortune here with the Eight of Cups. That's the change. Someone's walking away from a situation. That's why you're at the gateway of a new life right now. Page of Cups here really feeling as though it's time for you to move forward. Someone wants to go on a new path not go through the same stuff judgment devil here this could be capricorn energy someone could have made a decision okay that new, you, you're at the you're you're like at the uh, edge of a new life six of swords here could be in the space of moving forward devil here capricorn energy you could be in the space of moving forward two swords here temperance here you feel like it's time for you to really for some of you guys it's time for you to you feel like you could be dealing with someone that's holding on to you um someone that is I don't want to say promiscuous. Um, I'm not gonna say promiscuous, but someone that is someone that is underestimate, someone that is holding on and underestimating their abilities. So you could even be dealing with someone that continues to put themselves in a position of like giving themselves to you because they're they're at a blockage within the within their lives. I feel like for a lot of you guys, six swords here, temperance, you know it's time to move forward. Two of swords, you know that the situation will create mental conflict as well as keep you stuck. Two of swords double card. That is stuck energy. Alright, so we got three of pentacles here. I do feel like for a lot of you guys this is a partnership. We have ten swords here. You're in the space of embracing the end of a difficult partnership. Something that you've invested a lot of your time in. Ten pinnacles here. A lot of... Ten, ten. So there's an end here. We got three tens. There's definitely an end here. There's definitely an end here to some sort of partnership. All right. So we got six of pinnacles here. Two of cups. I feel like someone's making adjustments. Someone sees. I feel like someone sees the value of making adjustments within, within either a current relationship or within another relationship. Emperor with the... Six of Pentacles, someone's gaining control and making the adjustments because they realize the situation was not fair to them. Queen of Wands here, Knight of Swords, somebody's taking action. King of Cups here, Chariot here, Lovers here, someone's making a decision to really extend their energy. Could be toward a, a Cancerian energy. Could also be in a space of really finding your motivation to extend your energy toward a lover. There is multiple lovers here, just so you guys are aware. Two of Cups. Let's see why the Two of Cups is here. Was well, that class by this? Why the Two of Cups here? All right. So we have Three of Wands in reverse, Nine of Pentacles here, Three of Swords. Yeah. Someone is very confident about severing this connection. They feel like there's a partnership here that is conflicted. So I do feel like someone is moving forward towards something that is a celebration to them that makes them happy. But I feel like it is at the price of cutting away another situation because someone feels like that situation is a burden. It's something that keeps them oppressed. Page of Pentacles here. We have Ten Pentacles. All these tens. There's definitely an end. That's a transformation. Ten Pentacles here. Six of Swords. Ten Wands. Shit me. Shit me. You know, something ending here. High Priestess here with the Nine of Swords. Someone knows that either they've been dealing with someone that is cruel or they know that it's just their anxieties that have kept them in a, in a, in a position of feeling stuck. No more. <laughs> no man, no ham. All right. 
So some of you guys, you could even be knowing that someone that you are dealing with is lying and you're just in the space of, okay, keep lying because I am almost out the door anyway. Let's see what messages, what guidance do we have. This is for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, moving forward. Messages, guidance for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, moving forward. What guidance do we have for Taurus, Sun, Rising, Venus, moving forward. All right, Taurus, we have vigilance. So I do feel like, Taurus, you just need to stand firm, stand strong. What messages do we have for Virgo? We got two. First, we have is Earth Magic, and we also have Vision Quest. For a lot of you guys, you're seeing the bigger picture here. You're understanding that you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you desire by breaking these curses and moving on. <laughs> okay. Messages, guidance for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, we got solitude. So Capricorn, you could be inside of yourself right now, really taking some time to yourself. Wake up call. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you, you've uh, received a wake up call. See what happens. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all.